Hollywood is known for producing the best quality films and people line up just to see them. However, this is also because of the famous and award-winning actors and actresses who would go the extra length to portray extreme and challenging roles in their movies. Sometimes these roles can be all-consuming in both their physical and mental state, leaving a mark on their whole personal being. To round up, these are some of the famous actors who took their roles to the next level, therefore making them seek professional help after filming a movie. At number 10, Lady Gaga. In the film House of Gucci, Lady Gaga portrayed the real-life character of a murderous socialite who hired a hitman to kill her husband, and Lady Gaga admitted that she lived as Reggiani for a year and a half as part of her preparation for the film, imitating all of her known characteristics, including her Italian accent. As this was a very emotionally taxing role for the actress, she revealed that towards the end of filming, she hired the services of a psychiatric nurse to help her through the process. At number 9, Natalie Portman Natalie Portman is known for her award-winning acting in Black Swan, which earned her an Oscar for that movie. Portman, who had studied ballet and modern dance as a kid, took on this challenging role as Nina Sayers, a perfectionist ballerina. The actress trained for several hours a day and took even more extreme ballet classes and cross-training classes. During her preparation, she lost 20 pounds and had to endure multiple injuries and injured a concussion. Portman says that her role in Black Swan nearly killed her. At number 8, Bill Skaggsgard. After scaring little kids as Pennywise in the hit movie of Stephen King's It, Swedish actor Bill Skaggsgard is now afraid of his own role. The actor revealed that he was haunted by the killer clown even after filming concluded. He told in an interview that Pennywise visits him in a very strange and vivid dream every single night. Although the thought of Pennywise appearing in someone's dream is downright terrifying, he wants to see it in a more positive light as his Sykes attempted to let the character go. At number 7, Alex Wolf. In the horror film Hereditary, actor Alex Wolf opened up about his difficulties in filming the movie that did damage to his emotional and psychological well-being. In an interview, American actor Alex Wolf, who plays the role of Peter Graham, whose life crumbles after he accidentally kills a sister and ends up possessed by a demon spirit, shared that he's had a hard time opening up about the long-lasting effects of starring in that film. The actor described how he suffered a loss of sleep and admitted that it damaged him psychologically psychologically. At number 6, Heath Ledger. Who doesn't know the supervillain Joker? But through the years, many have already given life to the role of Clown Prince of Crime and the infamous rival of Batman. Heath Ledger is one to take the challenge on the role and first appeared in the movie, The Dark Knight in 2008. To transform into his own unique version of the Joker, Ledger isolated himself for over a month in a hotel room and maintained the famous Joker's diary as a preparation for this role. The actor even involved himself in makeup and wardrobe decisions. Ledger has suffered from insomnia for prior years, but his sleep troubles worsened when he was shooting for the film. In one of his interviews, while the production of the film was still ongoing, Ledger had said he had only slept for an average of two hours per day day because he could not stop thinking. Like this physical and mental exhaustion Ledger felt led him to his ultimately death due to an accidental overdose of his prescribed sleep medication just before the film's release date. At number 5, Adrian Brody. The story of the Holocaust survivor, starred by Adrian Brody in Roman Polanski's autobiography of The Pianist, had secured him in taking home the Academy Award for Best Actor category alongside Jack Nicholson, Nicolas Cage, Michael Caine, and Daniel Day-Lewis. However, behind these prestigious awards, Brody experienced an emotional toll while shooting the movie. In order to ace the character, the actor got rid of all of the material things and he broke up with his longtime girlfriend. He even underwent a starvation diet and lived in complete isolation. All of this caused him a strong depression to subsequently suffer from body image issues. Thus, he required professional help to get himself out of it. At number 4, Isabel Agenai. 
Isabel Agenai's extraordinary performance in Possession shows the duality of Anna as a sweet school teacher and manical ex-wife. As this horror film about divorce takes light on what Anna described as a miscarriage of faith, there's no explaining her behavior. It is an emotion turned physical. Anna became the embodiment of female rage and hysteria. Although Agenai won Best Actress awards for this role, one at Cannes Film Festival and the other at Cesar Awards, she also suffered post-traumatic stress from it. The actress allegedly attempted suicide after watching the film and suffered a deep effect on both her mental and physical health. Ajani had told in an interview that she had to go through years of therapy to get Anna out of her system and that she would never attempt another role like it which left her with a strong psychological damage. At number 3, Michael B. Jordan Applauded for being one of the best villains in Marvel movies, Eric Killmonger, played by the star Michael B. Jordan, shared that taking the role took a toll on his mental health. To get to the dark, lonely, and painful place of Eric, the ex-boyfriend of Steve Harvey's daughter isolated himself and refuses to accept love. Like going to war without a plan, Jordan drove headfirst into the mind of his character without an escape plan. After the film had ended, he sought the help of a therapist to work through his feelings, which he said helped him immensely. At number 2, Anne Hathaway Winning an Oscar award for her character Fantine in Les Miserables is not as sweet as it seems for Anne Hathaway. The actress said that the time of the event, she was still coming back from her intense weight loss. Through her extreme transformation paved the way to for a more believable portrayal of her role as a French woman who was abandoned by the man who impregnated her, she described filming the role as a being in a state of deprivation which can be both physically and emotionally taxing. And revealed in an interview that while she won her Best Supporting Actress Gold Trophy, she didn't know who she was and she felt uncomfortable on that stage and in her win. And last but not least, at number 1, Charlize Theron. Having starred in many action movies, actress Charlize Theron is already familiar with dangerous stunts. In 2005 film Aeon Flu, Theron opened up on an onset injury that she described as being a centimeter away from being paralyzed for the rest of her life. She opted to perform a characteristic handsprung backflip, but she didn't quite manage to stick the landing and ended up landing on her neck, halting production for two months. Theron had eight years of pain management and still had to deal with serious pain spasms, and the nerve damage where she had fallen on her neck. It was after getting a neck fusion procedure that made her body function perfectly again. Well guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to Superstar 10s, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video. Thanks for watching.